You're all going to die down here. Today I'm going to show you how I do my Alice makeup from the Resident Evil movies. First, I start with a light, even coat of foundation. Then, I go over that with some powder foundation. Then I use a lip stain to fill in my lips, I overdraw my top and bottom lip a little bit to make them look wider and fuller. And I use a matte warm lipstick to blend it. Then I go over it with a more natural lip stain. After that, I dust over lightly with a powder foundation to soften it. And I use a dark brown liner pencil to line the outer edges of my lips. I also define my cupid's bow a bit, as well as fill in the corners of my mouth. Then I draw on my eyebrows with that same dark brown pencil. Her eyebrows are thin with an arch. I use Got To Be Spray and an eyebrow brush to hold the hairs in place. Then I use a warm brown liner pencil and line under my eyes. And I blend it in. Next, I use a shimmery beige eyeshadow and dust over my eyelid. Then to make my eyelids look a bit more hooded, I highlight under my brow bone. I also highlight above my lip. The tops of my cheekbone, down my nose, and I blend it in. I also highlight my chin and jawline. Samurai sword on my back. And I blend that in as well. I take the dark brown liner pencil and line above my eye. The line is pretty thick and it wings out. Then with a black liner pencil, I draw a smaller line to keep it more natural. And I apply a generous amount of mascara to my upper lashes. Ooh. 
and lightly apply it to my lower lashes. I take a dark brown eyeshadow and make a small shadow around the edges of my eye and drag it out. Then I take a lighter brown and contour my face. I make my cheekbones more deep set in the center to recreate her bone structure. I also apply it around my forehead to make it look smaller. Then I dust over my cheeks and nose lightly with blush. And I use a matte white powder and go over my jawline. Then I define my lips a little bit more with a brown liner pencil. Now I'm going to put in my contacts. You can do this before your eye makeup if you have trouble. But I've done this so many times that it's really easy for me to do with makeup on. Now I'm going to put my hair up in a wig cap. And I add the scar that is on her shoulder and chest. I just do it with a dark natural pink liner. I soften the line by blending it with my finger and dusting over it with powder foundation. Then I tap liquid foundation around the edges. And I set it in place with a setting powder. And I put on a second wig cap to compress my hair. And I put on my wig. And that's pretty much it for the makeup. Now I'm going to show you how I did the rest of the costume. First I just style and cut this wig. Then I made the roots much darker with watered down craft paint. And I blend the roots in with the rest of the hair. I use hairspray to hold it in place. Now I'm going to take this dress that I got from the thrift shop and cut it up so I can use the fabric from it. And I pin a tube of fabric in place to fit my body.
Once I'm done pinning it in the shape I want it, I sew down the edges. Once it's all sewn, I put it back on and trace out the areas I need to cut off. She has a big slit opening on her left side. Then I cut off the excess fabric. I add some straps and I pinch the middle of the chest. Then I take the skirt and make it tighter to fit me. I also make it shorter. And that's pretty much it for the costume. I really hope you found this tutorial helpful or entertaining. I had so much fun being this character. There's lots of other makeup and costume tutorial videos on my channel, so feel free to go check those out. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye!